Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster, working on our science fiction themed park. Last episode we started on our Cowboys vs. Aliens section of the park. We're making like an old western town canyon area and having it attacked by some aliens. Oh, we built the train deep up here and I decided that I didn't really like it uh, standing up that high. So I'd roll as one solid building. I mean, I'd rather have it on these stilts, kind of give it a little bit more structural like identity. That didn't make any sense. I make up phrases from time to time. It's part of my wacky charm, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I added some random stuff in here to try and uh, make it look a little bit more gridded, a little bit more structural. I think it came out a little bit better than just having the solid wood on there, so definitely was a better decision. If you guys do think too, or, you know, a, a better, more well-crafted sentence, hit that like button. <laughs> Best way of letting me know that you want to see more Planet Coast in the future. And we're going to be doing a lot of scenery this episode. We don't get too much other stuff done, but we kind of set the groundwork for the rest of the build in terms of adding more rides and coasters and stuff. Uh, doing a lot of scenery stuff with rocks and bushes and trees and terraforming. And I, th I think it really makes the area feel a little bit more alive and a little less plain. I like the... I like these rocks. So, again, last episode we talked about using the red rocks and how they would possibly fit the area a little bit better. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't think they look very good. Uh, they look good when the terrain is red, when you actually use the desert map, but with this sand color, it doesn't look too good. And again, we can't actually use the red terrain tools. Uh, it just won't let us. It's because it's the wrong map, something like that. I don't know. Uh, originally, I wanted to put a waterfall here, uh, but this was before I realized that it was actually spraying all over the path. <laughs> we'll see that in a second. Uh, so we removed those, and I haven't replaced them yet. I just can't seem to get the waterfalls to look very good in this game. I'm working on it though. It's kind of like you have to stagger the small, medium, and large ones. Uh, it's, it's getting there. Put some more acacia trees all throughout here. I'm really trying to take my time with the scenery and actually shape things like clumps of bushes and rocks and trees rather than just randomly space them all over the place. Trying to make it a little bit more natural feeling instead of just chucking trees randomly. Kind of like what we did over by the post-apocalyptic area. That was just trees to fill in space rather than using trees as actual set pieces and uh, visual interest pieces, things like that. So I'm trying to take my time just moving along. You'll forget about me after I've been gone. There's a, there's a song lyrics for it. Whoever knows what song that is, you, you win an internet point. Hooray, internet points. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna get a idea. I completely forgot about the animatronic falling alien, like the ones that get shot. So we do toss him in there eventually. Oh, and you guys gave me some good ideas. You said, hey, you should put some of the rails in there as well as the minecarts. I said, oh, that's a good idea. The minecart doesn't quite fit on the rails. Whatever, this looks good. Changing this from the black and green just so it doesn't blend into the other areas much. Oh, we probably will have a crash ship eventually. Like, I may have the mothership actually crash landed uh, by the western town. Uh, the more I build up there, the more I realize that this is actually a pretty cramped area. So we'll see uh, what we can do about that. Uh, just trying to add a little bit more variation and definition to some of these cliff faces. Instead of just having them same thing over here, just trying to add a little bit more interest to them rather than just having just the flat pieces trying to make it look like I didn't just take the train tool and smoosh it all down which technically that is what I did uh, but you know <laughs> trying to break that illusion I wish we could paint with the red oh my god I just want to be able to do it so badly it would look so much better oh well maybe we'll do a desert park in the future maybe like a Mars one because it's on the red planet and a lot of people have been requesting that one that's something we could do we could just expand on the sci-fi theme or the actual space sci-fi theme rather than this sci-fi theme they got a broad topic things like that ba -ba -da -ba -da. over here is something i wanted to do uh, originally when i planned this and some people actually brought it up in the comments i was like wow great minds think alike i want a train kind of going off the rails here and being shot at by an alien craft so it's kind of uh, a train crashing and being shot at so you can imagine there used to be a bridge here we're gonna put debris and stuff on the bottom i think it comes out pretty pretty cool looking as people said, they're very sad because apparently last episode I didn't say pretty pretty cool. So now I'll say pretty pretty cool about it being pretty pretty cool. And now I'm just doing it too much that people won't find it endearing anymore and it'll just be annoying. Like most of the things I do. Self-deprecation. Ha <laughs> ha. There he goes, adding some of the logs and the rails to the bottom. Kind of make it look like the bridge collapsed right there. And I did take some of your guys' feedback for the actual UFO craft. I did try and make it a little bit more like the standard UFO. And I think it came out pretty cool looking. We can have a different couple types of UFOs. Though we may change the one over there to this design. Because it does look a little bit decent. A little bit better. Some people said, hey, this kind of looks like a human-made spacecraft. And that is reasonable criticism. And I appreciate it. 
I love reasonable criticism. It's my favorite kind of reasonableness. You thought I was going to say criticism, didn't you? Ha! Tricked ya! Anyway, we finally have the train kind of falling off the edge there. It looks pretty good, very precarious. Wanted to make sure that the County Express could indeed fit underneath it, and it could. Then put in some fires everywhere to kind of make it look like it's exploding or was like, I don't know, it's just on fire. All over the place. Over here, I decided to put the spacecraft right here. I wanted to kind of tilt it. So originally, you kind of see what I was going with there, just taking through these cool hull pieces. But I decided to tilt them over. So it looks like it's actually aiming somewhere, or kind of swooping in, trying to make it give it a little bit more action shot looking. Putting in a gun on the bottom, kind of looks like R2D2. There we go. Yeah, it definitely looks like, like a purple R2D2. Really cool. And then taking some of the laser hits, making it look like it's uh, currently being shot at by the spacecraft. Uh, I thought about putting oil on the side, like it sprung a leak, but nah. Put some lasers in there, I'm like, wow, that looks cool. It just sticks out so much, the. The sci-fi pieces, I, I like it. It's good that it sticks out that much. Adding some smoke there, putting it up so it actually goes up like smoke is supposed to do. There we go. Uh, over here, looking for the falling alien dude. There he is. So we'll put him over there. So there aren't any falling cowboys, unfortunately. There are falling humans in spacesuits, but that wouldn't really fit with what we got going on here. So I guess technically the humans are invincible. So there. <laughs> so much for you stupid aliens. Add some more detail stuff through here, because I do want to make it a nice pretty ride that the County Express goes through. Finally adding some saguaros, saguaros, all throughout there with some cacti. Some rocks around there. Again, just trying to actually take full advantage of the optimization of the game now. And just do a lot of scenery, because it, it definitely does make the game feel more fun when you actually just do a lot of scenery and fill things in and just stop the blankness of the space. People always ask, like, hey, uh, how do you make your spaces look good? That's honestly the biggest thing. Just fill in the space. Blank spaces suck. Like, they just make everything look so boring. I still struggle with it. There's a lot of times where I have blank spaces, and I'm like, well, I don't really have anything I want to fill that in with. But I'm like, it would look better. And then, then I'm like, stop saying like. You sound like you're a 14-year-old white girl named Ashley. <laughs> That's my sister-in-law's name. Don't know why I picked that name. Maybe because it was the Ashleys from... Uh, what, what show was that? Recess! When there was like a bunch of different Ashleys and they were all like the prissy, like, angry girls. What, were they Ashleys? Yeah, it was like Ashley A and Ashley Q and... Pretty sure it was. How awesome was that show, man? God, I'm gonna go watch that right now. I'm gonna stop recording. Go watch Recess. It's great. Fantastic show. And then they had that movie, I think, weren't there like aliens in that movie or something? Or... I'm trying to remember the Recess movie. I don't remember. Oh well. What are we doing? Oh yeah, Planet Coaster. <laughs> Is that my new shtick? What are we doing? Oh yeah, Planet Coaster. Because I do tend to ramble. But people say they tend to enjoy my rambling. It distracts them from the problems of their day-to-day -day life. Or whatever. But the canyon's looking a heck of a lot better. We're filling it in. I think it's looking real nice. The acacia trees are probably just going to have down there by the waterfront. Uh, for the rest of the park, we're just going to have like the bushes, the dead trees, and then uh, probably just cacti. All over the place, got some prickly pears and some squirrels. Oh, and the Joshua trees, that's right. Check those all over the place. Making this tunnel look nice. And this is like, I use these things a lot. It might be kind of cheap, just constantly reusing blueprints, but I mean, they, they work pretty well. We originally made them in the... Let's see, it wasn't the Lord of the Rings park. No, because that was a different save. It was the, uh, the Halloween park. That's right. We used these sort of tunnel uh, lights and support, so... I think they work well. There's no reason we shouldn't be able to just reuse things. Save some time. And I did speed up this footage a little bit more than normal. Uh, and record a little bit more than normal. Because I knew it was a little bit more boring, dry stuff with the decorating. So we are going through it quite a bit faster than we normally do. So, Because I know a lot of you just want to see like the coasters and the rides. And most people don't enjoy just the boring scenery stuff. But it is something that we need to do to get the full effect. This is actually something I saw on Reddit. Uh, that It's cool. They took the... Uh, like the hanging seaweed pieces and they float them over and they kind of look like uh, like river pieces like I think the cattails and different sort of things that grow in water and I think they're really really cool looking so I did steal that from someone else on reddit but I, I think it's a cool effect we'll definitely use that more in the future oh and we'll probably end up putting some of them down in the lake area or sorry the, the river area the base of the canyon uh, finally working on the other train depot trying to get this up and running and we do uh, quite a bit of a bigger one just because it is on land we have more space things like that Rather than the magical floating one that is over in the canyon. 
That one's kind of odd, but whatever. This one actually comes out really, really cool looking. I, I, I enjoy it. I had some trouble trying to figure out exactly what direction I wanted to go with it because I did want it similar to the other one, but not, not the exact same thing. I wanted to definitely take advantage of the space that we had here. And there's a couple little things that helped it look quite a bit better. Originally, I had the roof doing the overhang there. Uh, we ended up removing that just because I can't seem to get a way to get it look that good. If it was like half the size, if we had like a half width one, then I think it would look good. But having the full size one doesn't really fit with this sort of architecture in my mind. It might, who knows, but in my mind, I just don't think it looks very good. And my mind is the only opinion that matters. To hell with everyone else. <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding, man. I love everybody else's opinion. Most of the time, they're terrible ideas, but, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Everybody's just gonna unsub today. Sudo's mean, mean. Oh, well. Life goes on. <laughs> okay, what are we doing here now? Added some more wood to this big wooden building. You'll see me go down there and, and filter through for the just the word wood a lot. Because a lot of times if you go to the filters and actually select the wood, it doesn't bring up all the wooden pieces. That's a little odd. So I just type wood there instead. It seems to work a little bit better. I was having a hard time getting these barriers lined up. For some reason they were being little, little stinkers. There you go. And going with the red theme uh, for this area just because it is... Uh, we we're just making it the same color as like the County Express trying to get a little hint of red in there. And that roof still looks dumb. Don't worry, at some point I will remove the extra roof pieces. There, I'm like, okay, can we use these? No, nope. let's tear them out. Why not? Makes them look a little bit better. Doing the similar thing to what we did over in the first train depot. Oh yeah, and a lot of people gave me some advice. They said, hey, stupid, uh, you can build on the grid, you just have to select the individual station. And I said, oh, well, aren't I quite the fool? So yeah, you can build on the grid. I should have known that. Like, I don't know. I was being dumb. But when you select the County Express, you have two different grids, or you have two different stations, and you click on the station, and then it open up, opens up the grid for you. So that's basically what's going on there. Uh, thank you for everybody who told me that. It, I, I greatly appreciate it. Definitely helped me out on this one, because I could just build in the grid. No real point in redoing the original one, just because it would be kind of annoying, but... Oh well, it, it, it helps with this one. So I'm glad I didn't build both of these in the first episode, because that would have been kind of, kind of annoying to have to line these up without using the actual grid. I thought my printer just started, but I'm a little home. That was a little weird. <laughs> uh, ghost printer. What is that sound, man? It's seriously... Okay. Uh, it might be the rain outside, but I'm just like hearing hints of it, and I keep thinking my printer's kicking on. The ghost printer. ba da ba ba da ba Over behind the train deep, I decided to kind of make a uh, extra set of tracks back here to kind of be like a service station or a loading station for the other trains it's a little it's it's pretty big compared to the other uh, to the county express but oh well it works and it's some of these back here and then we're just gonna do some like props and things just kind of fill in the area I'm trying to make like 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 maintenance area with some logs and some metal tracks things like that but I think it's coming together it's coming together definitely we've got Luggage for everyone in here. Get your luggage. It was really annoying having to constantly change the colors of these things. Just because there's like too much customization. Okay, I don't need five different color wheels to change the color of a little piece of luggage. And I, they let me do that, but the metal roofs, they won't let me change the color of. I'm like, what the H, man? WTH. What the heck? That's what that means. Gosh darn it, what the heck? Go fudge yourself. Uh, that's, that's how I skirt around the uh, no cussing policy, which I don't know why people assume uh, I get comments from time to time saying Oh my god, why did you curse this episode? Dude, I, I curse like every episode I I try not to cuss all the time like all the like the wacky youtubers You know the big popular ones that just do it just to make little kids laugh, but like if, if it's a reaction Yeah, I, I curse quite a bit. I don't know why people are surprised They're like oh my god. I'm unsubbing I'm like well I never said I didn't curse, that was just your own assumption, so bye-bye. I mean, it's, it's part of my personality, I, I'm not gonna curse every three words, because that's stupid, but... If something happens, especially in games where I react to something, not so much a Planet Coaster, because I'm just here kind of talking over the video, but... If something scares me, I react to something, yeah. A little curse word might slip out from time to time, not gonna hurt nobody. I never said I was a family-friendly channel. Can't put that on me. I love this bunting. Look at that bunting. That's some nice bunting right there. I like it. 
Taking these little metal pieces that no one will ever see. I uh, decided to just toss them up there. Because it made me happy. So it actually holds them up. Again, no one will ever see or notice them, but... Oh well. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, adding a nice little wooden railing to the top of these things. I love these pieces. So they're these, uh, like, wooden overhangs. And they're really cool pieces. There's three different sizes. I, I like them. I think they're pretty cool. Because this way we don't have to add, like, a whole other roof down there to kind of give it a small... Like cropping or overhang uh, for some reason it wasn't actually on the building I, I don't know why but whatever added some lights down to the train crash trying to light it up a little bit using a lot of orange so you can kind of get the sense that it's burning and or on fire trying to figure out what do I want to do in there if I even want to try and fill that out adding some more details out here and you saw I added that tower and I really think that tower makes it look pretty nice it kind of mimics the shape of the train I think it's really cool looking and I feel like rebuilding it on the other one so I just copied it over there so technically it's not actually on the building on the other train station but I just wanted to get that done I might redo the pass there because it does look a little bit weird not having the wooden posts over by the pass just because there wasn't a way I could fit it uh, so we might do that so the tower and then these things really help this building come together it stopped them from it stopped the building from just being like a, a square a big rectangle a big boring rectangle so things like this really help. Just, uh, I think it just made the building like a million times better. Just these small little pieces. I'm pretty happy with it. I like how this building came out. And I hope you guys do too. So again, we didn't get super, super much done today. A ton of stuff done today. We, diff we did, in my mind we did. Uh, but again, most people only care about the coasters and the rides and stuff. So, oh well. I think uh, this went a long way in helping get the general idea of how I'm going to theme this area of the park. I just think it's cool. I like doing all the little detail work. Uh, I try not to go overboard with it because I, I, I do agree that even if people like it, it does make for less interesting YouTube content. But oh well. Hey, there's your water tower. Everybody loves the water towers. <laughs> so much. Well, that's going to be it for this episode of Planet Coaster, guys. If you are enjoying, despite my negativity this episode i guess it wasn't super negative i don't know i'll try not to be a grumpy goober uh, leave a like if you enjoyed want to see more planet coast in the future i'll see you next time bye